Hi y'all, this is Larry from Deep South Texas. And today, we're going to be making Hurricane Hannah stew. <laughs> so, Hurricane Hannah came through uh, Deep South Texas three to four weeks ago. It, uh, it wasn't supposed to be a hurricane, it was supposed to just be a tropical storm, but uh, it moved up into hurricane force winds um, just before it made landfall, about, uh, about 90 miles an hour. And it uh, made landfall about 25 miles north of me. We lost power um, the day it came in, and we were without power for 12 hours. Not too bad, not too bad. But then the very next day, there was a huge thunderstorm also associated with this hurricane and the transformer to our house took a hit <laughs> and then we were without power for four days so during that time um, had to improvise how we were going to cook did a lot of cooking on the grill we also my wife also made uh, a pot of beef stew in the dutch oven and it was so good i wanted to uh I wanted to make this for you because it was terrific, just like mom used to make. Now, other than the power being out, um, not too much other damage here except two huge trees lost uh, a lot of big, big limbs. And one of those trees happened to be in the garden. So the garden is uh, pretty devastated right now and, and that's uh, why we haven't seen a garden video for a while. We'll take a, a quick look at what it looks like now and uh, some of the rest of the aftermath of the hurricane. But this video is really about making uh, beef stew in a, in a Dutch oven with charcoal. So let's get started. So I went to the grocery store yesterday for the ex express purpose to buy chuck roast for this stew. And uh, they didn't have any chuck roast. But they did have these uh, chuck steaks, which I think are just chuck roast cut into steaks. And since I'm going to be cutting this up anyway, I thought this would work pretty well. So I'm going to use uh, two and a half pounds of this chuck steak. So the first thing we have to do is get our charcoal started. So I got some uh, Kingsford charcoal in here and some lighter fluid. Let's get that going. Now I'm going to cook this on this special table my wife had made up. She used to be really into Dutch oven cooking and she had this steel table here and it's easy to cook on. You don't have to be bending over so much while you're cooking on the Dutch oven. I really like it. So while we get these uh, coals ready, let's take this opportunity to go take a look at uh, some of the aftermath of Hurricane Hannah. So here's one of the huge Hakaranda trees we have in the backyard and it lost some pretty massive, massive limbs. One big one. Another big one up there. Another big one there. Actually, uh, later this week or next week, we hope to have someone come in and take this tree all the way out. Now, the winds we got were only uh, about 70 miles an hour, but uh, which we had a lot higher winds in Hurricane Dolly 12 years ago, but this tree wasn't that big then, <laughs> and it suffered quite a bit as did the Hakaranda tree in the garden. So this is the Hakaranda tree in the garden. It also had several huge uh, limbs fall down. 
It uh, basically destroyed my trellises, both of them. One limb fell on the fence here. It's going to need some repair. Luckily, uh, some members of the church came out and helped us clean this up and uh, at least haul this stuff over into a pile. But uh, haven't been doing much in the garden in the last month. It's, uh got about 15 inches of rain from the hurricane and then about uh, three days later the mosquitoes came out with a vengeance. So no working outside. The wind uh, almost blew my jalapenos right out of their containers. I had to come and try to stand them back up again. Hopefully they'll survive. And here are the piles of brush we picked up. They need to be hauled away. This one is uh, got a lot of palm fronds, fronds in it that were uh, blew out of the trees. This pile is basically from the backyard and the garden and another pile. All this stuff needs to be hauled away. And there is the replacement transformer. Got hit by lightning in the storm the next day and really blew it up. So it's been replaced now. Everything is back to normal. So after Hurricane Dolly 12 years ago, when we were without power for three weeks, we bought a gas-powered electric generator. So as soon as the power went out, we hauled this out, fired it up, it ran for about an hour, and then it quit. <laughs> Couldn't get it going again. So we borrowed a, a neighbor's generator, since we were the only ones without power right then, and uh, we got through that four days keeping our refrigerator and, and freezers running. Well, I think our coals are ready. Let's dump some of them out on the table there. And start heating up our paint. Into this, we're going to put in uh, two tablespoons of Crisco. Well, our Crisco is melted. Now we're going to uh, brown our meat. So we've uh, sort of cut those uh, chuck steaks up into one inch cubes. And actually, they're about a half inch thick. We'll brown that. So we're just uh, going to brown the meat. Looking pretty good. Well, the meat is browned. Now we're going to put in a half a teaspoon of black pepper. a half a teaspoon of salt.
and one teaspoon of thyme. Stir that up. Now, in go the onions. From the garden, by the way. These have just been quartered and uh, chopped. Not really chopped, just sliced, kind of thick. And now it's time for beef broth. I have uh, a quart of beef broth we're going to add. Not quite a quart. We're going to save back a little bit to use later. Stir that up. Now we're going to put the top on it. And cook that until the meat is tender. And we're also going to throw some, some of our coals up on top here. There we go. We're going to let that cook for a while. Oh, and I forgot. Add in uh, three bay leaves. While that meat's been uh, stewing for about an hour and 15 minutes. So I think uh, we're ready to add our potatoes and carrots. Now the carrots are from the garden. But the, uh, I'm, I'm long out of my own potatoes, so these are from the store. And I'll put the measurements for all of this uh, down in the, uh, in the video description. And we add another half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Stir that in. And then add just enough water to cover the vegetables. Well, it's been about 45 minutes, and I'm sure those carrots and potatoes are done. Oh, that looks pretty good. Now, we have the... Uh, a quarter cup of the beef broth we reserved and to that we've mixed in three tablespoons of cornstarch and now we're going to add that to the beef stew and stir that around till the broth thickens. Oh, that's looking good. 
That's looking good. Now, we have a half a cup of frozen peas here we're going to add. And get those mixed in. Looks like some mighty fine beef stew to me. Well, I think this stew is ready. Let's try it out. It's time to try that Hurricane Hannah stew. Mmm. Wow, that is good. Now, you don't have to wait for a hurricane to make this. Even if, if you're out of power, that works. I know a lot of my viewers up in the Midwest had a big storm blow through and many of them are out of power right now. Give this a try. It is wonderful. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it, give it that thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.